Hey everybody, it's Ben back with another LARP Shire video. Today we're going to be interviewing my brother Matthew about his character and costume for his manservant Alonzo. I am Alonzo, loyal servant to the king, at your service. Give us a brief introduction of your character and how you came up with it. Yeah, uh, so Alonzo is a manservant to a king, and he was originally an NPC character that I was playing, and his job essentially is just to follow the king around and do his bidding, get him drinks and stuff like that. And honestly, it's a really fun character to play because it's really simple. You just kind of scuttle around and look Weasley the whole time. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration for this character. Right, so this character was based on a character named Vincenzo from the show Gallivant. Uh, he was a chef and a uh, really funny character. I based a lot of my mannerisms off of him. Um, he also had this type of a hat with like the strings that hang down and it was just really goofy looking and I liked that. So I based my costume around that. What elements, whether through role playing or your costume, really help bring this character to life? Through my costume, I think my backpack plays a really big role um, because it's just really oversized uh, in comparison. I'll be walking around bumping into people and that really helps me get into character. Uh, like I said earlier as well, my hat plays a really big role, helps remind me the kind of mannerisms that I'm using. And as far as role playing goes, I have a few key phrases that I use to get into my voice. Um, like for instance, I, <clears throat> I say the word sire all the time. I refer to the king as sire. And, and when I do that, um, that just helps kind of like reset my voice, make sure that I'm using the same one. So break down each individual piece of your costume for us and explain where you got them. Yeah, so I'll start from the head down. <clears throat> My hat I got from Kalamazoo, and it was very affordable. Um, it's a lightweight material. Uh, overall, really, really good for this costume. My hood I got from Amazon, and it was, I believe, a, an Assassin's Creed style hood. And it comes in uh, multiple different colors. I got it in brown, so I like to keep my uh, costume pretty drab colors. Um, and it's really sturdy, has a nice, uh, it keeps its shape really nice. I got this um, vest from Amazon as well, and the brand for that is Scarlet Darkness, and it has a nice suede uh, texture to it, uh, and it works really well. The shirt I'm wearing is just a brown long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, the belt I got from Goodwill. Goodwill is a fantastic place to get pieces like that. Um, the pants are just tan joggers. Um, and the shoes that I'm wearing, I also got at Goodwill. And I cannot stress this enough, Goodwill is a fantastic place to get shoes um, because they can be uh, really expensive if you buy them new. But at Goodwill, I think these were $5. The pouches I have um, are ammo pouches. And uh, the other one I have, I got off of Amazon. The backpack we had for a play, but the way they made it was they built it around a very cheap backpack, they glued a cardboard box to it, and then added a bunch of foam uh, and stuff like that just to make it this really big un unwieldy shape, and then they covered, and covered it in canvas, uh, and then we tied hemp rope around it. So give us some final thoughts on the costume and the character. I really like this costume because it can be easily thrown together 
All you need is a couple pieces with some drab colors, and you can really change it a lot too. Even I, I've changed this costume a lot as I've been using it. Uh, all you really need is um, like a, a focal point uh, of the costume. I would suggest using a backpack or something like that. Um, but the other thing that I like about the character is that he's very useful for a lot of different scenarios. So if you have any kind of an important character at your LARP, like a king, a duke, a knight, anything like that, you can add this character on and it's just really fun. Adds a lot to the LARP. All right, guys, that's it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some good insight and information about how Matthew built this character. If you would like to see more videos like this, like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at LARPshire. Fare thee well, friends. Until next time.